I can give you guys one pretty good story. And what's interesting in all my years of shooting and doing wildlife expeditions, I'd say this is the closest I've ever come to death. Literally not. <laughs> Listen, I'm just asking, is the is your screen like on night mode where it, where it turns yellow? No, it's the lamp. But I'm not I'm not I'm not doing the overheads. Not doing it, buddy. <laughs> Kyle, can you fix us in post? He looks like some kind of weird cartoon character. I, I, I think he. Oh my has, god, it's so much better. It's, it's, Are you insane? I think he had jaundice a second ago, and he just beat it right this, now. This, I think this, he just pissed land. all over his walls before can he you sat fucking down. Order me a breeze? All right, let's start. We're recording. Uh, no, we're not. I, we have not started. <laughs> yes, he did. Oh my god, yeah. it's awful. <laughs> Dude, can you do something about the sheen? Have have your wife come in and just powder your forehead, though. I'd rather have your wife do oh. it. <laughs> Not there, even funny. So immature. Is there music playing? Am I insane? No, it is. It makes things more fun oh, okay, until we get going. Okay. I thought I was well, having a brain aneurysm. Right. For us, do the intro, man. We're, yeah, we're here we go. Are we just all doing right. it? All right, all right. Yeah. Kyle, yeah. Kyle, Kyle what episode music. number is this before you disappear? 115. All right, okay, fuck off, Kyle. Um, Everyone clap. Whoa, here we go. Clap it up. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Wild time. I assume we're using everything that just happened. I think we have to at this point. We never yeah. will start recording that early. All right, here we go. Woo! It's yeah, baby! Yeah. 115 of the Wild Times podcast. I am your host, the broologist, Forrest Galante, joined as yes. always by the professor and the producer, two great bros of mine who I haven't seen in several weeks. I have missed the most so much, and here we are, gentlemen. Hey, what's up, how are you? I got a. I uh, you didn't do the normal thing where we each get to say a little thing. It's my biggest, my most favorite part just of the do podcast. Do your thing now. Just say your thing right now. Pat oh my just, god, he's back to being he yellow. He urined. He urined on his walls. Everything. It's <laughs> Peter. Sorry. Okay, professor, PhD in podcasting. Please tell us how you're doing. No, I'm good. I'm great. Um, today has been the worst day my kid has ever had. He woke up literally screaming. At, and just would not stop. Had to take care of him for five hours by myself. And I'm goddamn getting drunk with my fat tire. I'm doing, I got a double now because the fat tire is always there, but I need fucking seven cocktails. Cheers, as well. mates. What are you guys up to? I told myself I wasn't going to do tires. this, but I'm going to get a fat tire from my mini fridge. Stand by. I can't. You, best. you must. Pat, can you do all audio only? <laughs> Nope. Just, it, it, everybody take a vote. Kyle, I want a poll on the podcast that you put out on Spotify. Oh, Did Pat look mess. better with the overhead light or whatever the hell well, he's got let, going let me on now? Let just tell you what's going on. Uh, this is, I don't, I moved. I haven't had time to get a, a setup. I, I'm going to figure out, I'm not even going to do it in this room, but I'm going to figure out a real setup. Peter, please send me a reasonable mic or tell me what to get. <laughs> uh, Starting on the next pod, I'm not going to even be in this room. I'm going to be in a better room. It's Did a you say a reasonable room. mic or a reasonable light? Yes. It's just, what? It's a fucking that, honest question. I don't know what the problem start. is. Such a you're such a mean man. <laughs> what? How? Here's the it problem. Is, if you're just tuning in, here's the problem. Let me paint you a picture. We us three have been apart for seven ish weeks. Uh, for those that don't know, we recorded several podcasts together leading up to this, which made us bored of each other. But then we well, missed we each other take care of the, the very the much. One, no, the let fans. me just explain to the viewers, Sorry. the listeners, what's happening here. Then we spent seven weeks Prosperous. apart. We've missed each yeah. other very much. Peter's very been much. doing some drinking. It's my birthday today, actually yesterday. But uh, so I've also been doing some drinking. Patrick has been moving in a stone cold sober. So he's bitter that he's not having as much fun as Dude, we are. He's in there. There's, like this energy. There's that, energy right yeah, now energy. going on. There's like Dude. this missed you energy and the drinking. Yeah. And it's, it's true. A lot. It really it's a is lot. true. I'm excited to be back on the horse, man. Uh, this yeah. is fun. We, we did one with BTG while you were gone. Good. Had a good time doing that. Good. We made the big announcement that uh, his pod is coming, semi indestructible. Yes. Woo! Oh yeah, baby! For us, so before we. Oh, there he goes. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Thank God, I, dude. <laughs> he better be just audio only. It's so distracting with the peed on walls. I don't know what he's thinking, dude. It's fucking ludicrous. Well, for those that are just tuning in to episode, I think it was one fifteen. Uh, I've said this in many prior podcasts. Patrick has a thing about lighting, and we'll dig into this before he gets back on. I've been with Patrick on more than one occasion, three to be exact, where we've walked into a restaurant, 
that we've had a reservation at or something has been planned. And he's been like, I, 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 I cannot eat here. Like, I'm leaving. And I'm like, what are you talking about? This is the mo- highest rated restaurant in the city of wherever we happen to currently be. He's like, I can't stand these fluorescent lights. I will not eat here. And Dude. I'm like, you're, you're joking, right? He's like, I, we can sit outside. We can get to go food. I, I can't go in there. And I'm like, you're kidding, right? And he's like, no, I will not sit in that fluorescent lighting. Which is I believe insane it. to me. Yeah. Well, he's got I mean, like a thing I get it. it. I, like, I'm semi with him. But after this display and what he's choosing to do with the lighting he's choosing yeah, versus the other option that he had when we first started. Which looked pretty good. It looked fine. Yeah. And, like, he's just putting on – it's exactly what you're talking about, but it's a podcast. Like, he's not – He's not concerned about the meal at the restaurant yet. Right. He's not concerned about the podcast yet. Right. He's concerned about the lighting before he even sits down to do the thing. Also, eight people watch this total. Everybody else <laughs> listens. So nobody cares about the fluorescent light. And those eight people have left the building. They're gone, dude. <laughs> They're fucking gone. But don't, because stay tuned. Forrest has stories. He said he almost got killed. He said he almost, or he got into a fight. Things Dude, are going to happen in this podcast that you need to be I, around here for. Kyle scolded me. I'm not sure if we he had sneakily started recording or not yet, but he's like, one story per pod. I have so many stories. We had an insane <laughs> time in South Africa. We had an insane time in Australia. I literally just got back from arguably the weirdest conversation of my entire life. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Start with the weirdest conversation of your entire life. Well, no, no. I guess do an animal story, but do not forget about the weirdest conversation. Dude, you're going to have to remind me or we dig into it now while it's fresh right, on my mind. dig into it now. Fuck it. Let's do it, it live. It, it was insane. It was it was <sighs> literally, Patrick, I was just explaining. Papa PP, bad Papa lighting P. wonder is back. <laughs> <laughs> I was just explaining to Peter, the conversation I just had in the bathroom line is arguably the weirdest <laughs> conversation I've ever had in my life. And it, it <laughs> came this close to being a fist fight at a very busy bar <laughs> at, let me be clear, it's 5.15 on a Saturday. Like, it's yeah. not late. Um, no, it's not late. <laughs> so let me paint you a picture. Let me paint you a picture. It's, it's my birthday. We did a thing last night, and the guys were like, let's go out for beers today. And I was like, sure. So it's all my rugby buddies. I, uh, I got inducted into, the, into our Rugby Hall of Fame last week while I was in Australia, which is a big deal. It doesn't sound like a big deal, but we no. have a time. Yeah, yeah, it's a big deal for me, and it's a big but deal for like, our club. What happened? I wasn't there. I just got a notification that at the banquet, I was the one chosen for the Hall of Fame. Listen, so, that was done on purpose because you rugby fucks are weirdos. True. They literally did it while you were gone on purpose just to fuck No, you. it's a banquet. It's every year. It's the same time. I couldn't be there. Anyway, <laughs> so enough. the rugby guys are like all celebrating. They want to hang out. So they're like, let's go to the, this bar, Llama Dog. Patrick's gone again. I'm with it. Um, this is great. Great start to the seven-week hiatus. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. And <laughs> I am so, too. Listen, let me tell you the right. story. Yeah, so yeah, we, yeah. Head, we head to this bar. There's, there's like eight of us hanging out together. It's all guys, all rugby guys. We're having a drink. And I'm like, I got to go pee. So I head to the bathroom line, right? Yeah. Standing in line. And there's, it's literally, it's like super crammed. There's this tiny little girl in front of me. She's next in line for the bathroom. And then me, we're almost shoulder to shoulder. And this guy walks up in like dark Coke bottle glasses. <laughs> He's like five foot seven. He's this tiny little dude. And he jams his way in between me and the, and the girl in line. I'm like, hey, bro, what, what, uh, what are you doing? I don't think so. And he's like, ah, oh, sorry, I just, I went to check and there was no other bathroom. So I came back here and I was like, yeah, that's not really how it works. You got to go to the back of the line. And he's like, yeah. dude, he's like, dude, if you know who I was, you oh, would God. not, I swear to God, he goes, if you know who, if you knew who I was, you would not be talking to me like that. And I'm like, really? Well, who are you? And so he says his name. I'm not going to say it because I Googled him and it's really funny, but uh, oh, he God. says his name. I can't wait to hear off air. Dude, it just oh, goes God. on from there. It's really funny. And so, so I'm like, really? Well, what's your name? And so he says his name, and I'm like, uh-huh. oh, that's, well, I'll just tell you his first name. I've still got it up on Google, actually. <laughs> oh, uh, boy. <laughs> dude, it's, it's real funny. His first name's <laughs> So I Google his name standing in line. I'm like, no. Famous <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, he but, knows? You well, know? there was a guy on the, one of the recent Bachelor's name was <laughs> but he wasn't 5'7". Okay. Uh, I mean, maybe 5'9", but he, he just was a oh, uh, small, him. skinny guy. And, okay, uh, okay. He's wearing these Coke bottle, like, douchey glasses, and I'm like, you're a fucking pussy. Get to the back of the line. And so I start, I start egging, so I start egging him on, right? And I, I call him a pussy about four times. And he's like, bro, if you know who I was, you wouldn't be talking to me like that. Oh, God. Like, you shouldn't fucking talk to me like that. Al and then he, he literally, he starts rubbing his pocket. And I'm like, why? You're going to kill me over a spot in the bathroom line? 
And he's like, starts rubbing his pocket like he's got something in his pocket. Ew. I was like, oh, cool. You got a knife? You got a gun? Like, let me see it. He's like, bro, you don't want me. You don't want me to do something. I was like, oh I really. God. This is this whole conversation we're having. I was like, I really, really do. And he's like, this is the next line he says. It's the best line I've ever heard. He's like, you don't want me to go to my car and get my bulletproof vest. I was like, yes, I do. Go to your yes, car. Yes. Go, and get, go your get it. And at this point, I'm starting to like yell. I'm like, yes, I do. I'm like, go to your car. And get God. your bulletproof vest right now, please. Like, I'd love to see. I'd be scared he's going to shoot stuff. up the whole fucking place it's, now. He's just getting so steamy and, like, red Jesus. in the face. And I'm like, you're a fucking pussy, dude. And so the chick now walks God, out of the bathroom. You, you, I would be, you, you have an ability to really fucking piss people off. I could see it. Well, because he's just, like, he's trying to be tough. And he's, like, cutting line in the bathroom. And so this girl now, <laughs> who was in front, walks out of the bathroom. He starts heading in. So I grab him by the shoulder. Oh and I'm like, I'm like, sorry, it's my turn and i push him to the side and walk in to pee yeah and uh and i'm just like laughing the whole time and i come <laughs> out and he's like pacing back and forth and i'm like hey <laughs> hey hey you're up and uh he, he literally turns looks at me he's like i'll be right back and he steams out and i'm like fuck yeah here we go bulletproof vest, the bulletproof vest. <laughs> and uh not an offensive tactic by the no, way are all your no, rugby buds there right now too none of them are like in line and none of them know this is happening but they're very right. close by in the bar which nice, is why i feel nice. very safe by the way yeah and, definitely yeah. and so he storms out of the bar and i'm like okay great he bailed that was like i'm glad he didn't pull a gun out and uh <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, he storms. He's wearing this like hipster shirt and the Coke bottle glasses. I'm like, this guy's full oh, of shit. God. And, yeah. uh, and so I start Googling him. And I go tell the boys what he what he like this whole thing that happened. Everybody's laughing. He's he's an ex Amazon employee who's a whistleblower. That's who he oh is. Oh my god! Yeah. Are yeah. you what? kidding me? Yeah, and so I'm not gonna say his name. I, you can probably figure it out at this point. But uh, so he storms out. We have nobody yeah. fucking knows, but we'll Whatever. Google it. And uh, I already <laughs> found him. You yeah, did? yeah. <laughs> so he storms yeah, out. Yeah, of the Kyle, bar. pull up a picture. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Don't do that. Okay, okay. So he storms out of the bar, and I'm like, all right, he's definitely not coming back. And about 15 minutes later, he walks back in. And I'm like, that's the guy to my buddies. I'm like, that's the guy, like super loud so that he could hear me. Yeah. And, uh, and everybody gets super excited. And he just like, he just turned around and walked back out. He was of just, course. he had nothing at that point. And he just turned around and walked back <laughs> Dude. out. And I was like, that is the weirdest guy. Like he's rubbing his pocket. Like he's going to pull a knife oh my out God. and me. I'm, I'm like, trying to think here. like, you know, like, you know, normally in the public <laughs> eye, a guy like this is seen as, you know, yeah, fuck the man. This guy fought against Amazon. He probably was a whistleblower. Like they wouldn't let me go pee or something. I don't and know. I, but it's like, dude, who uses that? Like, what is he going to whistle blow you? I don't like, know. <laughs> you know. It was mean? really funny though. And I was just like, sounds I, great. Just like, dude, I'm going to go get my bulletproof vest. I'm like, yes, please That's do the that. weirdest fucking thing <laughs> I've ever heard. Yeah, I that's like think, saying like, yo bro, you're like, you don't want me to do this, man. Yo, I'm going to go get my helmet. Yeah. Like, well, but that's not going to hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> that's just a, de a defensive move. Do you think I Dude, have a gun? It was, it was so funny. Um, yeah, that was, I that was one that of the more just happened to like, like, like under 30 minutes ago. And you right just now. got back into the country recently too. This yeah, is like, so, yeah. okay. So we should backtrack. I just had to tell that story because it was top of mind. It was really, really so funny. This is your first American experience in like a month and a half. I mean, Pretty social much. social experience so, well i was out with all my friends i mean it, it wasn't all negative but that that no, particular yeah. interaction was hysterical um but uh yeah so i just got back i've just spent the last nearly two months seven weeks on the road doing back God, it's to been back great yeah, yeah it really has uh doing, <laughs> we all hate each other uh, by the way i'll never do two back-to-back -back ocean shows bro ever again seven Interesting. weeks in the Why water yeah. seven weeks of being in the water about 12 hours a day Oh, yeah. minus that's crazy. maybe three days in seven weeks. Like Johnny oh and I God. were just like, I, I just like, I would look at my wetsuit and just like have like a, like a puking reaction, like in my stomach <laughs> in the morning. I'd be like, I cannot put this wetsuit on. Again Every today. picture you posted on Instagram, Johnny was just passed out. Yeah. Like I was like, oh, this is, this is like a hard seven it weeks. It was hard. It Ooh, was hard. Yeah. It was miserable. Um, but really fun at the same time. Hey, you still and look good. I mean, head's you. still huge and all that, but you look I'm good. I'm trying. I'm trying. Keeping it big. Um, <laughs> um, all right. Well, give us, here's what I want to do. Give us a quick lowdown and then one story from your travels. Sure. Because we've got something big and topical that we have to do. Yeah, let's. Um, yeah. So quick lowdown. I did back-to-back -back expeditions, shoots. They're both for Shark Week. They'll be coming out later this year. 
First one was in South Africa. Second one was in Western Australia. Uh, both really cool, really fun. South Africa was all cold water, very deep, very stormy, very difficult. Australia was like the complete opposite. It was boiling hot, like 110 degrees every day, boiling hot water. Wish I hadn't picked packed wetsuits, to be honest. But once I yeah. once I wore them, I was like, well, now I'm in for that. Um, and uh, yeah, and it was cool. But I can give you guys one pretty good story. And what's interesting, in all my years of shooting and doing wildlife expeditions, I'd say this is the closest I've ever come to death. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wait. And and you've think. done some dumbass shit. Wait, closer than when you nearly drown in Sondong? <laughs> I don't want to bring that up. But yes. Wait, closer than <laughs> when you shit. got bit by the snake when you were a kid and had to take the motorcycle this and is, get... This is very close to that. I'd say it's closer, if you want me to be honest. <laughs> All right, baby. And it's, All right. You want to know I'm the best part it. about this story? Yes. Self-induced. I was of just going to say, I, of course it's self-inflicted. <laughs> like, you didn't even have to say that. Yeah. What happened? So we're in Australia. We're, we're milking sea snakes to get venom. Okay. I've never, I've never done this before. I've caught sea crates, banded sea crates, which are incredibly docile sea snakes. Very venomous, but tiny little mouths. They can't really bite you. You know, like the likelihood of something happening is very slim. But in Australia, in Western Australia, in the area we're in, there's 27, maybe it was 21 species of sea snake. There's a ton of species of sea snake, all extremely lethal. One little nick and you're done. Okay. Wait, wait, are you kidding me? 20? That's great. Yeah. You're Cal, in Australia, Cal, you can look right? it up for us. Western Australia, number of species, either 21 or 27. I don't remember, but it's just insane. Even the ocean off the coast of Australia is not safe. It's insane. People. So I don't want to give away too much of the story, and this won't be in the show, but we get to the point where we have to catch the sea snake to get venom. 22 species of sea snake, Kyle said. Thank you. So uh, 21 is the number I heard. But um, anyway, there's a ton of sea snakes. They're all super venomous. Some are aggressive, some are docile, whatever. So we get to the point in the show and, and our research where I have to catch and milk a sea snake. And I've never done this before. Jump a, in the a water. A poisonous one? Venomous one? Venomous. Dead. One, one tiny little drop will kill 100 plus people. Like super, okay. super lethally venomous. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and um, I've never caught a sea snake before. I've only ever caught these crates and always on the beach or on land. So we have this insane sequence where I'm in water, the snake's lunging at me and I'm dodging it, like doing this whole thing, working with the snake, which has evolved from a cobra. So it's super aggressive. It's seven feet long. It's Yikes. a massive sea snake. It's coming at me. Seven I'm, feet long? It's huge, huge Holy snake. Shit. And um, shit. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Kyle. Um, and uh, that wasn't God. the one, but irrelevant. Um, I, I don't have pics posted of the one that I'm talking about. But uh, anyway, nevertheless, so catch catch the snake. I'm kind of like nervous. Like Mitch is like, dude, I've never seen you scared around a sea snake before or a snake before. And I was like, yeah, that was gnarly. Get the snake on the boat. Start doing all this stuff on milking it. Now, I know how to milk snakes. I've done that a lot. Milking is extracting venom. Sea mm -hmm. snakes are different. However, their fangs are very hidden in their gums. You have to push the gum up with something to get the fang Ew, out. So you have to like finagle the fucking poison instrument. The venom. The venom yeah. you, instrument. Have to, you have to hold the mouth open and insert a small dropper oh. over the fang and extract the venom. Oh right? my, now that's in order, ludicrous. It's ludicrous. And in order to do this work, you have to be very dexterous. So you can't wear the big snake proof gloves. So I had to take the gloves off, as you see in that picture, open the thing's mouth because the teeth are small. And keep in mind, one drop will kill 100 people, the potency of this venom, Dude. okay? And I'm laser-focused. Patrick's seen me when I'm doing this kind of thing. Like, nothing is breaking my focus. Sure. Get the snake. Snake's in position. Perform the milking. Get this mouth open. Put the tool in its mouth. Take the dropper. Put it over the fang. Extract the venom, all barehanded. You know, I, I like, look, there's no cuts on my fingers. There's no way for the venom to enter my bloodstream. Take the venom, which, you know, is mostly going in the dropper, but also sort of rolling down the dropper on my fingers, whatever. And and then I'm putting it into these vials, okay? Finish okay. the whole process. Take all the, the venom, put it in the vials, release the snake. Everything's fine. Nothing bad has happened. Turn okay. turn to Mitch. Mitch, Mitch, who everybody knows uh, that listens to this, is is used to be our cameraman. He's all the way up to our showrunner now. And, oh, wow. um, huh? yeah. Interesting. And, uh, he starts arguing with me about something and I don't remember what, and I'm arguing with Mitch. And in the middle of the argument, 
after <laughs> touching the most lethal biotoxic chemical in the world. I'm like, Mitch, you're driving me fucking nuts. And I put my fingers <laughs> in my eye ducts. <laughs> like oh my no. God. Yes. With the most deadly chemical known to man on my fingers after like minutes after milk. Yeah. I start yeah, rubbing. Yeah, yeah. I start, you know, like you do when you're arguing with someone. You're like, of dude, course. Like, I do it with stop. fucking jalapeno. Well, and by the way, done that's, that's what you do. Like that is a gesture that's, that would be in my impression of you. Yeah, that's how <laughs> like you I do. That's like, you rub your eyes when you're like frustrated. frustrated. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. right. And so I, I've done how long this. did it take you to realize after you did it? Five seconds. So I'm like rubbing my eyes, arguing with him <laughs> about like a shot or a sequence or something that's like not even rel- you know, super important or relative to what's going on. And I'm like arguing with him, holding my fingers like this, and I'm like, Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! And, and Mitch is like, it. What's wrong? Because he saw my face turn white, and he, I was like. <laughs> I think I just killed myself. Dude. And he's like, wait, what? <laughs> and I was like, I think I just put sea snake venom in my eye ducts. And he's like, are you serious? And I'm like, did you see me wash my hands after we got done? And he's like, no. I was like, Johnny, you you were helping me. Did you see me wash my hands? Oh, he's like, no, God. you didn't wash your hands. We just let the snake go a minute ago. And I was like, I think I just killed myself. I was like, if I have one microgram of sea snake venom yeah. on my fingertips, I'm dead. Dude. And so here's the thing, though. With this particular type of venom and these sea snakes, nothing happens until you drop dead. You're like fine for like three oh, to four wow. hours. Oh my God. So you're fine for three to four hours. Then you start <laughs> feeling slight fatigue and then your heart or lungs shut down in a matter of minutes. And Dude. So, so we're out in the middle of the ocean. We've just done this milking. I've just released this snake. I'm now rubbing my eyes, arguing with Mitch about a fucking drone shot. And, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. and, and I'm like, I think I'm, I think, I, I think I'm dead. Yeah. And Mitch is like, are you serious? And I was like, I think so. There was venom on my fingers, right? And he's like, yeah, we shot it. And I was like, I don't know how much was water and how much was venom. And was, he's like, yeah, I don't know, man. Your hands are wet. And I was like, okay. Um, yeah, and it's, so, yeah. So it's the for, worst fucking thing ever because you don't know. I don't know. Like, yeah, you don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. And so for the next like four hours, we're out at sea where I can't reach anybody. So I, I have a, a friend named Brian who's like the world's leading, leading sea snake venom to, uh, venomologist, right? So he would have been able to tell me, like, oh, you'll start experiencing this or whatever. But all the all the reading that I've done is like, you won't know anything. You'll just start feeling some fatigue and then drop dead. We've already had about an eleven hour day on the water. This happens two hours before sunset, and we're like, okay, we're done. You know, it's a two hour boat ride back in. Yeah. And I'm sitting in the boat, and I'm like trying to just like, I'm like, all right, don't say anything else to the crew. Don't freak them out. Just like, you know, I'm not going to call my wife. I'm not going to freak her out. Like, oh just be, my be normal. You know, and yeah. I'm telling myself this. I'm like, just be normal. So I'm like, yeah, okay. And then we've just had a 12-hour day on the water that's, you know, had sharks, and it's had sea snakes and all this other shit. And I'm like, wow, I'm feeling really, really fatigued. Like, I'm exhausted. Oh, oh no. Dude. I don't know how much of this is adrenaline. I don't yeah. know how much of this is in my head, you know, because there's definitely an yes. adrenaline letdown oh. after that whole experience. And yeah. so I'm just sitting on the boat. Two hours go by and I'm like, okay, I'm still alive. I'm still breathing. And uh, like go home, go shower at the house that we're staying in. And then the guys are, yeah, we're going out for dinner. Let's go get some beers and celebrate. I'm like, yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, and I'm walking to dinner and I start coughing. I swear to God. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 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 Johnny's like, you okay, man? I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And then we go, we have a beer or two, and I'm exhausted. Like, and we, you're, you've yeah, been yeah. on these shoots. You're always exhausted at the end yeah. of the day. So I'm like, I'm exhausted. And I'm like, I'm going to go lie down. So true story. I head back to the house. I, I've heard from my friend Brian at this point, because now we're back in town and service and everything. And he's like, yeah, you won't really know. Like, you'll just feel fatigue. And then, you know, you'll probably go pretty quietly if anything bad Fuck happens. you, Brian. Yeah, Tell what me says some me. other bullshit. So, so, so stand by. This is where this, I mean, the story's already insane, but... So I go back, I leave the bar, which is a three minute walk from our house, the one and only restaurant in Carl Bay, Australia, or I think there's two and, uh, walk back to our house and uh, I'm the only one, everybody else is still out. It's like seven 30 at night. I write a note, put it no next way. to the bed and lie Good down call. to go to sleep. And I'm like, Dude. I'm not going to, I'm not going to freak my wife out. I'm not going to freak my mother out. I'm not going to tell the crew. I'm just going to lie down, go to sleep, <laughs> see how I sleep. The Lay fact down. that you're dealing with this all just Internalizing inside it. Internalizing is yeah, yeah, the yeah. most stressful part for me listening to and, it. And, and and at the time I'm going to bed is right around five hours from the incident, and six hours is when he said it would likely kick in. <laughs> so you think you're not yeah, waking course. up for did sure. You, did you lay on your back and just fold your arms over <laughs> I did, I did sleep on my back for maybe the first time in my adult life as opposed yeah. to in the fetal position, cuddling a pillow like I usually do. And uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and so I just, I wrote a note. I put it next to the bed. I lay down. I went to sleep. 
And then I was like, this, you know, this might be it. It might not. And then I just woke up in the morning and I was like, okay, crumpled up the We're note, good, threw dude. it in the yeah. trash. Didn't that, say anything. This is the ugh. first time I've told anyone. I didn't tell the it's crew. It's a wild nothing. ride to listen yeah. to, And man. I was like, holy shit, dude. That was ugh. gnarly. So thank God in the venom extraction, apparently none of it had been on my fingertips. That was all just water or maybe it had and I'd rinsed my hands without realizing or I don't know, but it yeah. was... Dude, Whatever it was, it was this close. So, Dude, so I just want to fact brutal. check you on something here Please. for us. So I Googled it. Uh, so the most, so was this a hook nosed uh, sea snake? Uh, no, this was a horned sea snake. Oh, okay. Well, I was like, a single drop could kill 100 people. Like, there's no way. The hook nosed sea snake, which is also found in Western Australia, one drop of venom is enough to kill 400 stout. Oh, men. sorry, 400 people. Yeah, dude. That is ba na na. I I'm just like because I've been a person who has struggled with anxiety and like I know that you're not for us. Like you've never encountered it in your entire life. No. Nope. And like that scenario, I might have killed myself within the first hour. <laughs> <laughs> like just to not go through the stress of that ordeal. Well, I'm just picturing like if like you know in that situation, so I've because I've never even seen this in a movie of someone going. I think I just killed myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What an odd thing to hear. And yeah. Just like, and not say anything. The, the like, only no. thing you can do is be like, all right, let's like get back to shore and start drinking and wait Dude. this thing out. Man. Yeah. And well, I that, didn't, because if I had like expressed my concern to the crew, all that would have yeah. done is made everything worse. Cause it they would have yeah. a hundred percent. They would have called in a chopper to try and extract. It would have been a disaster. Right. Dude, and I didn't yeah. know. So I'm just like, say nothing. Just be calm. Just tell everybody you're tired. You know, and just like, that's it. And just call it a night yeah. early and go lie down. And, uh, and yeah, that was, I, what, is that the closest I've ever been to killing myself? I don't know, but it was the most I've ever, it's the first time I've ever written a fucking note. I can it's tell you right. that much. Yeah. yeah. Like it's the first time you've ever been scared because you have yeah. no amygdala. Correct. Did, did you keep the note? No, I crumpled it up, tossed it. What, what's the, what was the gist of it? Uh, it was oh, just yeah. to my family. It was just to my. There was a little part to the crew that was like, "Hey guys, I'm sorry you have to deal with this, but uh, <laughs> here's what happened." <laughs> and then the rest was to my family. You know, this, this, and this, and love you guys, and I'm very sorry. And uh, mom, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> did you, was, did no, you, I didn't write that. <laughs> if it was Ritep, he would have just written down all all of his bank account infos. For his <laughs> let, wife. Me, let me let me tell you this. Like here's here's the thing. If it was me, that that pull uh, that you were dealing with to not say anything to anybody, like even like you just don't know what to do. It causes so much like confusion and shit because you oh, want to yeah. be like you want like we're such social creatures. Like we want to fucking tell somebody, but you're like no, like because the the consequences of telling them if it doesn't happen is so dire it's but funny I'm though because, die on the other because side. that like, decision is like the difference is you're out in the middle of the ocean had you told everybody it would have unleashed a, a, a flurry of events that would have been so insane when you didn't die. Right. Like uh -huh. a helicopter uh -huh. would have come with a basket and like lifted them out. It would have been very dramatic. You basically uh, chose death over embarrassment is yes, what you did. Yes, no, he did. because I didn't know. Because <laughs> he was and I dying either that, way though, right? Right, no, either yeah. way. There was no way I was making it in time. So I was like, either way, like, let's not make a big thing out of this, you know? Yeah. 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 Um, wow. Sorry. That is, that is like... Just that was a wild ride, even listening to it, honestly. And that's it's so fucking funny crazy. because it's a lot of fun. Wish but I was that's there. That's how it happened, right? <laughs> like, old jokes aside, would for you a have second. told Pat if you were there? Just Pat. Probably because Patrick and I have a different sort yeah. of relationship. Right. Where I right, could have right. gone to his room and been like, hey, dude, what do you think I should do? Because here's what's happened. And I you know, he would have kept him. it secret, even yes, if you died. I would have, have, I would have said, milk. I would have said, call your wife. Don't tell her what happened, but just at least call her and say, I love you. And I thought about Is that, it, but that's out of character of it me. would have scared. She would have known. So she, she would have been like, what's up? What's up? Yes. What's going on? What did you know immediately? And then I would have been like, fuck. Cause I'm not like, I can't lie to her. You know, well, like dude, I yeah, would just be all, like, uh, you're also already uh, freaking out in your own head. And yeah. she's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Like, you'd be like, she'd know. Actually, she'd know there's a lot heartbeat. wrong. Yeah. I'm, fine. I'm about to die. Yeah, totally. It would have spiraled for sure. <laughs> what would you have done if you had called her and you said, and you just told her and she immediately was like, 
immediately went into just like figuring out the finances of it was like, okay, so, okay. What's the <laughs> account like, for your chase account? Yeah. She's um, like, look, I've been expecting this. I've got all your n- numbers <laughs> written down. I just want to check your social is still blank. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. And, uh, I'm like, huh? Yeah. That makes that yeah. adds up. Um, <laughs> By the Dude, way, that's it, amazing. You've obviously told her. Did you tell her the next day? Yeah, I told you, her the next day. The next I'm day. like, okay. I downplayed it significantly compared to this, which now she <laughs> listens she, to the pod. Yes, so I'm she gonna does. Get big and she your does. mom. This yeah, is great. Mom. I'm yeah. excited for them both I, to hear this. I'm definitely going to get in trouble when they hear this. But <laughs> I called her the next day. I was like, oh, I had a pretty big scare. I thought I put venom, snake venom in my eye, but nothing happened. And she's like, oh, haha. Rhodes is having fun in the playground, you know, like moving yeah. on. And yeah. I was like, yeah. all right, no, this way I've at least told her when this actually comes out. <laughs> So yeah, that was how I played. I think I think that like so from what do you think? Do you think she's gonna I think she might be happy that you did that after the discussion she's gonna listen to that we just had on the podcast, I think she's gonna be like, okay, well, like I appreciate that a little bit. I don't know. Uh, you know, I think time will tell. We'll I find out. If yeah, if, if I'm, if I'm no, calling you guys to ask if I can sleep on your couch for a couple nights, then uh, you'll know the answer. I mean, she know. knows you're gonna die early. You guys should have all this shit logistically <laughs> worked out already. Thanks, Peter. What a guy. It's not me. It's um. you. <laughs> hey guys, if you're enjoying, whoops, one more time. Guys, if you like The Wild Times, check us out on Patreon. We put out four extra podcasts per month. That's one commute a week that you're just going to be laughing and learning the whole time in the car. <laughs> hey, let me do, do something else. This is the late night content, stuff that we, we can't show on, on YouTube because they'll kick us off YouTube. It's the Cinemax of podcasts. <laughs> Uncensored, raw dog. It's the Cinemax of podcasts check it out link right here All well right. today that's the best story you've ever told on the podcast sorry go oh, ahead. today <laughs> is monday it's a really good one monday april 3rd tonight is the national championship for college basketball that's right the, I hope you're, you know, hope you're doing well on your well, brackets. Me and Forrest don't, like, don't give a shit at all, but I, I do know yeah. that San Diego beat Florida, though. I know, and that. I know San, that San like State, everybody yeah. in the country is fucking bonkers about yeah. it right now. Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah. So look, it's March Madness. You do the bracket. Everyone does the brackets. It's an annual tradition. That's right. One of our Brosners has created a Wild Times Battle Royale <laughs> bracket. And I Who think was we should that, do it. I think it was Bro and Roberts, wasn't Bro? it? Yeah, oh, it was Bro and dude, old but school. He made I, the I, uh, three. Can I admit bookmarks. something that I'm going to get fucking reamed on the internet for? Sure. I don't what? know how March Madness works, dude. Ne- me neither. I've Fuck never it. known it. Care. Thank you, Peter. So, every time, so every March, yeah. time out. Every March, I go into my barber <laughs> shop. Out. I go into my barber shop, and Richie, the guy who runs it, is like. Hey, bro, you want to sign up for March Madness? I'm like, ah, not this year, dude. Like, you know, I'm not into nah, it. I kind of burned out on <laughs> it. Yeah, not going to tell him that I don't know how to do it. I don't understand it. The brackets don't make any sense to me. I've I, I've got to the point where I'm now avoiding going to the barbershop for the month of, month of March. <laughs> I believe it. Too, I believe it. I'm too scared to for Smart. someone to find I'm out with that you. I don't know I'm how with it you. works. All right, so here's how it works. Else. Hold on. So, can we yeah. give it a name? Can we call it uh, and vote on this if you want? Bracket Busters and Booze, a March Madness drinking game because we're going to be drinking. Yep. Beer okay. Bracketology or Slam Drunk. Do you have these the written down? March I Madness. I see your eyes veering. Well, to the I side. texted. I, I love that you don't read my text. I texted this to everybody. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I'm just annoyed that Pat didn't even fucking use one of them. <laughs> Slam Drunk, the March Madness drinking Olympics. Great. All right. That's the all right. One. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's the March anyway. Madness. <laughs> the, Peter, you, you I'm sorry. shouldn't. You I told you I had four anymore. drinks before we even I, started. I wouldn't have another sip. It's you're slurring. There's like, no uh, chance. Yeah. I'm drinking at least five more. But go ahead, Kyle. Can you? I'll, you know? I'll quiet Kyle, down. Don't, you, don't no. edit this. No. So here's how it works. Yeah. There's a bracket. There's 64 teams, and you're seated, right? So the teams that were the bet, like you're the heavy favorite. You're the one seed. If you're a big underdog, like this, like you know the Ivy League school that gets in, you're yeah. the 16 seed. Okay. Right. And then you advance. So yep. the, so he uh, correctly seated like the the gnarly beast animals, and then like you know a hummingbird is going to be like the 16 seed. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So, so real underdog. Is, yeah. yeah. Animal March Madness. Absolutely. Battle Royale. I think what we do is we just go round robin. Uh, pull it up. Kyle will fill out the bracket as we go. Okay, that's better. Battle Royale. So it's who just who would win in a death match between these animals. 
Okay. Oh, I love it. And then at the end, we have like the winners exactly. down in the bracket. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Oh, yeah. dude, this it's is real fun. So how do we dictate who's the winner? Of I, I think to, it's it, got to it, be the, the majority vote. It out the bracket as, yeah, two out of three. Two got out of three. Two out of three. Got majority it. vote. Got it, got it. Got it. Yeah. That makes sense. All right, okay, very Pull good. it up. Let's start. This is good. This is real Is good. this a regular podcast? This isn't a bonus, right? Yeah, it's a yeah. regular podcast. Like but by the way, like if that. you want to listen to the bonuses, we do four a week on Patreon and Spotify. Oh, yeah. Check it out. It's uh, more four like a month. where we free four, four a month. month. Not, four yeah, a not a week. A I'd kill yeah. myself. Uh, All right. <laughs> Don't do that. All right. So Broen had some fun with how he did this, but the number one, the Bornean elephant, elephant versus a slow loris. Okay. Are we going to, Kyle, could you bring these uh, or, or attempt to bring them up? I know it's a lot of pressure, but oh, I'd God. love well, to. Are, we're going to be here for Not hours. every single one. I'm just saying like, you know. Well, you got to leave the well, bracket what is up. Slow Loris, we're filling up. Like? You know how long it would take to fill out. The, if we fill out this bracket and he pulls up pictures, this will be a five hour Listen, podcast. Listen, that's fine. <laughs> All Let's right. Number one seat, born an pictures. elephant. Born an elephant. It's an elephant versus a tiny little primate. Elephant. elephant. And also, by the way, is the slow loris the, the 64 seed? That's, that's what correct. That's what I'm seeing, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, okay, but but let's, so let's not just say Bornean Elephant. Let's say how would a slow loris win this battle if it was to be the underdog and come back? They're, the they're venomous. Seed. They're a venomous uh, primate, so it would have to envenomate the elephant somehow, but it would have to do that a lot. I don't think it has enough, don't think it has no enough venom. Elephant. <laughs> I right. elephant. Let's keep going. Elephant. <laughs> let's get let's get the let's get the brackets back up. Elephant. Right. Elephant. Okay, All the right. next one's gonna be a little bit better because it's two that are equal yeah. in in power. Interesting. Yeah. Golden Eagle versus Fertilance. Can you pull up a Fertilance at least? Because it's I don't know what that is. Super venomous pit viper, Peter, from Central America. You um, know what? Fuck it. I'll do the screen. No, sharing. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. It's uh no, no, yeah, yeah. It's just okay. a very okay. venomous snake that's very, very aggressive responsible for more deaths, I think, than any other snake in Central America. So I'm going to go Fertilance on this. Well, the Golden okay. Eagle Fertilance. is very powerful. It's much larger. It's much more aggressive. Fertilance, one little nick, and that eagle's done. So it, it, keep in mind, that Golden Eagle could literally sever the head of the Fertilance, and the Fertilance could still win this because it just takes one little chop on the foot. Okay. Peter? Uh, well, I'm obviously going to go Golden Eagle because it's every uh, Battle Royale creature I've ever selected. <laughs> very true. I'm, I'm going to go. This is a very good tight matchup. I'm going to go for the Lance for just the reason that Forrest said right after his fucking sea snake story. For the yeah. Lance. Yeah. And one little, one little eye drop. Yeah. <laughs> Golden Fertilance Eagle. Bullshit. Taking the eagle out. All right. What do right. we got next? Brown Bear as the 16th seed. <laughs> Well, Versus how about the 49 let, let's, seed. Let's make it let's make it more interesting. How about 16 brown bears versus 49 coyotes? <laughs> I don't no, think that's, how that's it not works. in the spirit of how this works. <laughs> <Doesn't>, uh, <laughs> okay. uh, all right, I'm just going to go brown bear. I think it's a no-brainer. Coyote, Obviously, all right, yeah. let's may as well brown skip bear. it. Yep. Kyle, can you wow, pull up a brown bear? I've never seen Oh, one. I see. There's a March mat. <laughs> I get it. Okay. Yeah. All right. He, so so Broen had a little Usually it's four brackets that are one through 16, but okay. uh, he just went one to 64. I like that. I like that. Yeah, great. Yeah, we just keep time. rapid firing. This is fun. Why I have no rapid idea fire? I think we should go into every one. I don't know why we got to be so quick about it. It's fine, though. What's okay. the next one? Wolf versus spider monkey. Come on now. Peter, you go first. I mean... <laughs> I, like, can we do at least like wolf versus 10 spider monkeys? No, it's not fine. Obviously wolf <laughs> just go. Doesn't matter. I think it's, I think it's a unanimous wolf on it's that unanimous one. Unanimous wolf. Yep. This is a fun one. Yep. Beaver versus the 57 seed beaver versus the eight seed giraffe. It is you a know, fun one. Go ahead though, guys. Giraffe. I'm going to go beaver. I'm, I'm definitely go going beaver, by I the way. I am too. Are you kidding it's me? It's an underdog, but a giraffe with a broken wow. any leg is done. It's yeah. done. Oh, and then, so the, yeah, well, it goes it, right at the leg. It goes for the legs. It would only take one swift kick to eliminate a beaver, but beavers are bigger and gnarlier than you think. 
And yeah. one hard tail paddle, one hard bite, and that giraffe's got a broken leg, and he's done for the season. Listen, Pat told a story that changed my view of beavers forever. <laughs> Absolutely. There was an attack beaver in his backyard. They're huge, and they got big fucking yeah. teeth, uh, and they're aggressive. I know how weird it sounds. Humans before. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> I know how weird it sounds. I'm going beaver. I'll say, I'll say this, too. Giraffes Huge have never upset. intentionally killed humans, only by accident. Or beavers, for that matter. <laughs> no, beavers have intentionally killed humans. Dude, that is a monstrous upset. upset. Yeah. Team Beaver is like, the 57 hammered. Seed. Ooh, I like this one. The 57 seed just beat the 8 seed right there. That's big. <laughs> that is shocking. Yeah. Uh, 25 seed King Cobra versus a 40 seed Rattlesnake. Let's just call it the whatever Rattlesnake lives in Runyon Canyon. Sure. Western <laughs> Pacific. Okay. I think this is a probably unanimous, right? Yeah, it's a king cobra. King cobra. The name king cobra, the word king in a snake means it eats other snakes. A king cobra would literally just eat a rattlesnake. No problems. Fair enough. All yeah. right. The nine seed. Could we have another upset? The nine seed is a lion versus the 56 seed, an alligator snapping turtle. We've we've talked a lot about the, sna- the alligator snapping turtle on this podcast. Take your finger right off. Take your foot right off. Yeah. What do we think here? Peter, it's I mean, it's obviously it, it's it, <laughs> yeah, no upset coming from me. It's, on this yeah, one. it's a lion. Yeah, it's a lion. <laughs> He's probably going to win the whole thing. Like, what, what are the odds? I remember reading this. The odds of winning like a March Madness from the beginning is like one in a billion or something of getting a perfect bracket, yeah. a perfect bracket. Yeah. So this is this is me getting a perfect bracket from lion on. OK, what's the lion? <laughs> how's the lion taking out this turtle? It just goes inside the shell. He bats it around. Well, listen, I I'm the layman, but I'll, I'll tell you this right now. The lion <laughs> just comes up. I've watched like, you know, when when a, when a when a super predator animal like a lion comes up to a prey that really has no defense, which is usually just running besides a shell. <laughs> but, dude, no, no, I'm saying like he's going to grab it by the fucking butt. Like smash okay, it, hold maybe on. like can paw I, can it. I, can I throw in something? This is going to dog like us for a second, but it's worth it. Kyle, Google lion gets bitten by turtle and play that video quickly. I don't think we'll get. I'm just saying, by the way, just if watch the this. Fucking, Peter, if the Peter, lion, I will. Peter, if the lion say, gets bit by the turtle, who cares? What's he going to do? His I just want you to see this hurt. video. I want you to see now this video. Snapping turtle boy. And see if this changes the brackets here. See if this, this gives us the upset we're looking for. Are you watching this? Big lion. Dark mane, big belly, <laughs> mean ass lion. See the tiny ass turtle to the yeah. right of the lion? I see it. I see it. Okay. The turtle is about the size. It's about like six inches long. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> no, we didn't see it. It was nothing. It's crazy. That watch. Even are... watch. Okay. All Just right. Watch. I like it. I zoomed in. Zoomed in. It's going to okay, bite look, a whisker. Look at the turtle. Do, look at the lion. Do, 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 King of the jungle. Do, 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 tiny African helmeted terrapin. Okay. Are you seeing Dude, this? Dude, if he bites his tongue, I'd be furious. Look at this. Look at this. Bad time to freeze. He's going at the tongue, this turtle. He's going for the lion. The lion yeah, is moving this off. Lion. Look at what is bullied. happening. The lion is moving I mean, off. This it, is a six-inch turtle. It is. <laughs> Isn't this video? This insane? turtle is bigger than my dick. <laughs> this, this turtle is like the ones you have in your pond. Uh, I swear to God. I swear to God. That turtle, the African helmeted terrapin, is this turtle. I have changed my terrapin. vote to the right turtle. Here. I swear I to God, changed same species my vote right here. To the turtle. The turtle wins the bracket if Forrest also picks the turtle. No, if this turtle bites that lion's tongue, I- I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at the blood. Look at the blood. bleeding the everywhere. Blood the blood. <laughs> From a six-inch turtle. <laughs> How is this fucking turtle so aggressive? Why is it even attacking the lion? That's why I love biologists. That the uh, lion's bummed. Yeah, You're still lion. going lion, though, for No, us? I'm going lion. I By just the way, love that video. By the way, do you know right, how fucking advances. terrible it is to have an inner mouth wound even True. as small as that? It's True. weeks of pain. Weeks. It's it a is. nightmare. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Lion advances. Uh, spectacled bear versus an elk. This is interesting. Mm. This is interesting. I actually don't know what a spectacled bear is, if I'm being honest here. It's a pretty small bear. It's Paddington bear. You know, Paddington bear is a spectacled bear. It's ah. the white. You could pull up a mm-hmm. picture if you want, Kyle. It's got white, like, rings around its eyes, hence the name. They're not okay. a big bear species. They they have killed things up to the size of cows. They kill llamas and things like that and cows in South America. Okay. Yeah, that's an easy oh one for me, God. then. Oh, my God, yeah. Spectacled bear. 
I'm going elk. What? Elk for sure. You I'm kidding me? Oh, really? I so am. an elk. Okay, so you're taking an elk over a 240 pound bear. Okay, so <sighs> you're you're talking you're talking this animal. All right, I guess I guess an elk can get up over 700 animal. pounds. This animal versus it. Look well, at this stallion. Elk wins. elk wins. That's another upset. Stallion. It's, it's actually not you. I'm going to I'm going to I'm, I'm going to stick with the elk. I think I yeah. think a male elk, the full head year. <clears throat> Dude. Yeah. I feel Lion bad for the elk. Upset. That's it's, an upset. That is an upset. Right. Yeah. Next one, the number 4 seed. <laughs> polar bear versus the we're 61 gonna see, seed. We're going to see polar bear and lion in the finals here, ladies and Tasmanian gentlemen. Tasmanian devil. We might not. We might not. Polar uh, bear, Tasmanian devil. Number 4 polar bear for me. Polar bear. Yeah, All 4. Right. Doesn't matter. Just move on. <laughs> number 29, a naked human <laughs> versus Woo! 36. Bro. A giant otter. Bro. I don't know why the giant otter is seated at 36 because these things chase off jaguars, naked human. There's not one animal in this list that would lose to the naked human. Um, uh, I, wow. I'm, yeah, giant otter for me. Hands down. Otter. Easy. Seen those teeth. They're like <laughs> Thanks, Kyle, needles. for the naked human Google over there. <laughs> Very helpful. <laughs> nice job, Kyle. Um, um, so otter <laughs> unanimous. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Well, not unanimous. <laughs> Hold uh, on. No, I'm going not. naked human, but you guys have won. So, two, all right. Two, moving three. on. Number 13, an American alligator, 52, the yellow throated martin. I definitely got to see what a yellow throated martin even is. Horses, I don't even know what species that is. Here. It's, that, it's that cute little picture, that little thing. Remember we talked about on the pod? I took pictures of it in India. That guy. Remember that guy? Okay. Okay. He doesn't remember. You don't remember. You don't know. No, no, I definitely do. Honestly, I do remember. Look at this cutie. I, I, I do remember. Uh, I'm I going alligator. God. I'm going alligator. Sheer yeah, I mean, size. it's not even. Yep. It's not even. Jaw strength. Question. Yeah. This is an, this is interesting here. This number is 20, interesting. Anaconda versus number forty-five. Man. The Lynx. Is it a home game or an away game? Because that's going to make a big difference here. It's uh, it's closer to where the Lynx lives. That's what I'm going to say. It's it's okay. in the. I don't okay. know where Lynx lives, but uh, somewhere. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go Lynx actually, then. You're going if Lynx? The, if the anaconda is on land, it does not have the ability to combat a, a cat of any kind. Look at that face. If it's in though. the water, if it's in the water, well, not the one from the terrible movie, the animatronic one over there. Um, <laughs> That's the one that Peter was talking about, too. Yeah, it is. Uh, no, I'm going to go Lynx. I'm going to go Lynx. I'm I'm gonna, gonna, Lynx. I got to go Lynx. All yeah. Right. It's good. Upset. 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 Yep. Wow. Number five, the five seed, a rhino versus the 60 seed, a kangaroo. No, no need to talk it. about rhino. it. This next one is legit. Yeah, it is. Oh, shit. The 28 seed is a spotted hyena. The 37 seed is an orangutan. Dude. Wow. Yeah. So I know, wow. what I'm, I know where I'm going with this, and I don't even think it's close. Who are you going with? I'm going with the upset, the orangutan. Okay, me too. I just wanted to check. Yeah. I'm oh, there too. What I mean, me too. Just fucking tears it leg by leg. Yeah, he just grabs it, rips it, rips it to pieces. The hyena will get a couple nicks for Look sure. At, what, but... if it's, what, if, what if it's this orangutan, Ted, who's just like a dopey <laughs> janitor at the <laughs> zoo? <laughs> nah, it's, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Okay. Orangutan, orangutan with the upset. It. Yeah, that's big time. He'll this rip is that. a fun one. Yeah. The 12 seed's a leopard. The this, 53 seed, the yeah. cassowary with I its mean, talons and its claws and its beak. Wow. I actually think that this is an interesting one, but what do you guys think? I'm going to go last on this one. I got, uh, I got my theory. I'm going to go leopard. It's just leopards are so badass. They're so big. I, I got to go, you know, I want to pick cassowary because it's it's my main battle royale component one of in, in 90% of the battle royales. That's two 90s you've had so far. But usually I give, yeah, that's right. It's talk about herpes yet either. That's 180%. And 20% herpes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but for 200, by the way. But... I will say this. Usually my cassowary has some other ability, usually flying or something. So I got to go with the, uh, who's he playing? The leopard? Leopard. Yeah. Yeah. I got to right. go leopard. It's unanimous. It's leopard. Look, a leopard will prey on an ostrich, which a is a fucking bigger bird of a cassowary. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. All right. All right, Forrest, what do you think? 
Number uh, 21, Wolverine, or 44, an Eland? This is going to be an upset for me. It's definitely going to be the Eland. Eland are massive. If you've never seen an Eland, just look at the size of it. That will trample, and they are aggressive as well, especially the bulls. That will trample Ooh, a Wolverine to shreds in no time. They are much larger than a cow. Like That will, that will do a lot of Dude, damage to a Wolverine. I had no idea how big an Eland was. So they're insane. They can they're be, insane. They can be nine up to nine feet long. Yeah. And yeah. weigh up That's to 1,300 huge. pounds. Yeah, it is a massive animal. Wow. It's, it's Holy yeah. shit. No way. Eland. Eland. Well, Wolverine I mean, are gnarly, but they're not going to stand up to that. I got the I got the Elon too. The nineteen hundred pounds is like thirteen, yeah, or thirteen hundred pounds versus a fucking well. What's it gonna do? Like rip off a leg? I'm I guess curious if people are still listening to this. I like it. I'm just curious if people are are. Oh, this is great, dude. Yeah. Rapid fire. I think when we get uh, into the next round, look, there's, uh, yeah. there, this is this. Let's just move on, right? It's a hippo. hippo. I know fat, fat tail scorpion, scorpion are incredibly venomous. Their sting wouldn't even penetrate its skin. <laughs> The hippo wouldn't even know it was there. It would just squash it. Game over. Hippo is the two seed. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Here's a close one. The 31 seed, the harpy eagle, 34 seed, the maned wolf. Um, You guys go. It's, it's got to be the wolf. I mean, there's just, I just don't think the harpy eagle can do enough damage. I'm going, I'm going harpy eagle because. Harpy it, eagle. Yeah. Harpy eagle. Holy shit. It, those yeah. things will take a full sloth out of a tree, which is close in size to a maned wolf. Those talons at speed, that's like a golden eagle taking a coyote, no problem. What do you got right. here? Uh, the harpy eagle won. Two Next for is 15 seed jaguar, 50 seed Asian water monitor. Obviously, jaguar, just, jaguar. just put it in there. Unanimous. Jaguar. jaguar. Yeah. 18 seed, a black bear versus the 47 seed, an alpine ibex. I'm going to go, well, as a layman, it, I'm it, going black it. bear. Yeah, me too. Black, Black bear. bear will eat a mountain goat if it can, straight up. Like I, I think yeah. once we get to round two, this is going to get much. It's going to get, get a lot harder. Oh yeah, no question. <laughs> We've no had question. a few upsets here. Yeah. Seven seed gorilla versus dingo. Let's just gorilla. The twenty six seed is a gar. A gar. What's a gar? What's a gar? Remember that jacked big muscular animal I showed you? That big cow with the massive muscles. Oh, that? that's right. That's oh, yeah, yeah, that bad boy. Look at this that guy. fucking guy. That, that, that Got some big ass right horns there. on it. Yeah, dude. No brainer. No it's brainer matched roids. up against the 39 seed, the reticulated python. And, and you know what? Good for the python for making it. Like he's come a long way in his but. in his career. But <laughs> you know, this is where it ends. Yeah, I'm just making war. the tournament is is an achievement. It war is. was a it great is. band too, by the way. Yes, they were. <laughs> it was. 10, the American bison, the largest animal in North, the largest mammal in North America versus the 55 seed, the bald eagle bison. Yeah, bison. Yeah, it's got to be. I like okay. this. This is good. Tw 23 seed, chimpanzee, I, 42, ooh, okapi. This oh, this is, is interesting. A good one. Now, remind me what if an okapi, uh, fat okapi giraffe is, looking where thing does with it the live? stripy butt that lives in the Congo. Oh, that's right. The Remember half that? horse. The you know what's funny is I've learned thing. how to tell you these things. In our years of podcasting, I've learned how to explain it. Stripey like, horse. I'm like the stripey, stripey butt horse that lives in the Congo, and he's like, "Yeah, I know that." <laughs> but like, you know it. what you you know what you haven't learned is What's how to that? say the proper form of the word "learned." Okay. Learned. Uh, learned's not a word. <laughs> you're right. It is learned. You are right. That's but I love you out of space. Thank you. <laughs> dude i posted a thing today and everybody's like this is fake because you didn't say out out of space and i'm like yeah that's, that's probably should have now, by the way learnt is the accepted pronunciation really? and spelling in the well, uk fuck me yeah where i'm from by the way english yeah. boarding school system thank you um all right i'm going to happy zebra Ooh, i'm going Learned. chimp wait what are we looking at i'm not chimpanzee seeing versus okapi i don't oh, think yeah, yeah. Chimp, 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 chimp. all right chimp wins moving on Forest favorite, the number three seed, saltwater croc versus Obviously. Madagascar's Easy. coolest mammal. Oh, but by the mammal, way, the like Fusa. I mean, let let's do a little thing. The saltwater crocodile has what the strongest bite force out of every animal in the entire world. Is that There's a reason he's seated in the number three spot. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Ooh, that's that's gonna lead oh, to some good matchups later. Good one, dude. Ooh, close. The thirty seed pit bull or the thirty five seed the cheetah. 
It's tough, man. So, so I mean, I feel like we've been going through it where we're saying, you know, the eagle can't fly versus whatever animal he was fighting. So, like, they're in a cage, like an octagon that has a ceiling, right? So, the cheetah can't just run away, right? No, it's a fight. Well, then it would lose. It's yeah, a fight till death. Then, then I'm going no. pit bull, dude. Yeah, I think it's got to be the pit bull because right wow. now you're looking right. at strength versus speed, and I yeah. think the the I think the pit bull is just too meaty. Let's do too it. Too meaty. All right, By the way, I googled, pit bull. These, I, I googled pit bull, and it's just the bald rapper. By the way, how many are there? <laughs> I, I was just like, I haven't From seen Miami? a pit bull. Uh, yeah, I needed to like wrap my head around it. How many the are rapper. these of these, Pat? Of uh, are these there's going to be like six more of the first oh, okay, round. Okay, not we too go bad. To the not too round. bad. All right, let's great. roll. It's great. All right, all right. Wrapping Ooh. up the first round here: 14 seed Komodo Dragon or 51 seed Rhodesian Ridgeback. I'm going to jump in here. Rhodesian Ridgeback. They were lion killers as a dog. They're very agile. They're massively strong. I, well, Komodo Dragon can take down a buffalo. I think that that Ridgeback's got the brains and the brawn to do the job. It's a badass. It's a just an incredible breed. I'm still going Komodo Dragon. Okay. Peter, it's all down to you. This is a tough one, guys. Tough one. I, that's, a, that's a big boy. I, he's eating a lamb, evidently, in this picture. <laughs> Great hunter. Uh, oh, my God. I, I'm sorry. I just have to show this. Look, at he's attacking a porcupine. Is that a porcupine? What is nope, that? That's another dog that he's playing another with. another dog, it's called yeah. called a bully. All right, then. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going with. I'm, I, mean, I see Kyle laughing over there, too. I'm going the Komodo. Fuck off. That's fair. Got to. All that's right. That's fair. One little nick. Number 19 seed, the moose versus 46 seed, ocelot moose. 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 Number six seed is the Siberian tiger versus the 59th seed. Ah. Broen included thylacine as an extant species. They're already extinct, sir. Very yeah. weak bite force, by the way, the thylacine. Siberian yeah. tiger Siberian. easily. Well, 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 if this were March Madness for real, I would be putting my money on thylacine. I'd be supporting them all the way. I'd, have, I'd <laughs> yeah. paint my face. I'd have the shirt. Yeah, I'd if you were drunk in Vegas, you'd bet yeah. $1,000 on thylacine would, at 400 to 1. The reality is Siberian tiger. Okay. All right. All 27 right. seed is a, a cougar, a Florida panther versus <laughs> a panda bear. Thanks, Cal. Uh, a giant panda. <laughs> giant panda. Dude, I think I, pandas are much I, gnarlier than you think. I'm I'm They're literally so going with panda. Yeah. They're so that's, clumsy. That's two for panda. Wow. Yeah. I was okay for the Brosners who aren't drunk. Obviously, <laughs> Panther would have won there. Uh the funny part is, is that all of the lesser ones are going to get weeded out in round two immediately. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe man. not. There's some Maybe not. I think coming. so. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Two more in the first round. The 11, the Burmese Python versus 54, the Sikadir. Python for me. Yeah, Python. for sure. And right. finally, 22 seed is the water buffalo versus the 43 seed, the horse. Hey, thanks for playing horse. Yeah, yeah. bye-bye. Watch watching head home. Um, All right, here we go. This next round is going to go much quicker. We got round two. Oh, my God. Let's Let us know, Grossners, what our worst pick was. I'm very curious if there's going to be a major upset in the comments later. Where what do you mean? Like, yeah. This is insane. How did they not pick the Golden Eagle? That's true. <laughs> you know? Right now, I don't have a strong lead on what's going to win. No, We're going to go no fast idea. here. The yeah. second round, the Elephant. round of 32. Elephant. We've elephant already given all the facts of the animals. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Elephant. I'm just going elephant. I just yeah, don't. elephant. I mean, it's number one. It's a, it's a and by the way, I just got to say that f basically, Forrest, you said, you have said on other podcasts that the elephant is the number one fucking out of every single animal. I don't think there's anything. I mean, rhino, maybe, maybe. Um, but, but, you know, look. Not lions, as aggressive. Li lions prey on elephants, and it's a Bornean elephant. I've always said African elephant. Bornean elephant. That's true. Substantially smaller. Much smaller. Substantially more timid. Tusks a fraction of the size. There's a reason Broen did this. He's a smart guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although he gave it the one seed. So, all right. Brown bear versus wolf. Brown bear. Easy. Brown bear. Yep. Too big. Too big. Okay. This gets interesting. The 57 seed, the beaver that upset the giraffe in round one versus the 25, the king cobra. Easy got, for me. It's got to be the cobra. Cobra. Yeah. Damn it. Be. I'm going beaver. I want the beaver to be in the game, but I wanted uh, the beaver in the sweet 16, one bite. but he can't. It's one bite and it's he over. The problem, the problem is, okay, so king cobra versus beaver. King cobra, cobra is not venomous. It is. 
It is no, 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 I'm saying it, if it wasn't. Oh, then oh, a beaver then the easily. Beaver, hands down. Okay. All right. Just right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you idiot, Peter. I'm By the just way, saying. <laughs> if you do beaver versus king cobra a thousand times, I think the beaver wins like 300 of those. But yeah. you've got to put I think king that's cobra. about right. Solid yeah, I think it's about right. Yeah. yeah. All right. The King Cobra will take on the winner of the nine versus 41 matchup, the lion and the well, elk. This is Obviously a no brainer. It's a like lion, one of lion, those lion, two lion. animals would eat the other one by yeah. choice. Regularly. Yeah. <laughs> the Normally. elk, the yeah. elk eats what grass. <laughs> yes. Yes. Correct. <laughs> polar bear, giant polar bear, otter. polar bear, polar bear. Now polar I just want to be, I just want to be clear for, for one second. This is the final. I want to see. I want to see polar bear versus giant river otter. Laugh all you like. That's going to be insane. <laughs> that is going to be insane. Giant river otters will chase jaguars around. They're super gnarly. They can rip things to shreds. They're not something you want to mess with. Polar bear is super out of its own. Like, I would love to see this as the finals, but it's got to be the polar Listen, bear. Listen, I will bear say this. I, I don't know what exactly is going on with AI these days. I know it can talk to you and tell you everything about programming and have a conversation with you and make pictures and i saw an ai video recently if any of the brosners can figure out how to fucking make these battles happen with an ai video i'll fucking just post it send you a free t-shirt or whatever i mean oh, that tire I didn't know I was, what you well, were saying until it. like 15 seconds well ago. yeah that's i was like because- what, where are you going with this but yeah no that would be yeah. awesome i'd love to see this all right Polar bear. polar bear advances. American alligator versus lynx. That's easy. Alligator. Alligator. All right. Alligator. Ratep, I want you to go first on this. The five seed rhino versus the 37 orangutan. I mean, I mean, it's a rhino. I can't. There's no way I can't. Yeah. You know, the right choice. Yeah. You know, the right choice. Round two is even easier to pick the animal. Ooh. Somehow. Now, this one's tougher than you think. This is real tough. The I leopard versus the eland. The leopard is heavily favored here by the bookies in Vegas. I don't think a leopard has ever successfully predated upon an adult eland. And, of course, in this game, these are all adult alpha organisms at the top of their field. Um, <sighs> big, big boys. Big boys here. Peter? Yeah, I mean, obviously the leopard. I mean, it's a... Uh, I, I kind of cheated. I did Google it, and leopards have been known to kill and eat elands. So. Adult eland, though, not babies? Because babies, Says, for sure. And I'm, I'm going leopard. All right, leopard it is. Leopard it what, is. What would you have done for us? Probably leopard, ultimately. I okay. mean, of those two, that's... That's Dude, a common interaction in Africa, Sorry. right? It's just like... Yeah. It's not, I, I promise you, that is not what a leopard would choose to hunt if it had no choice. Yeah. The, the next one is so hilarious. How, like, ridiculous uh, it is. I don't the remember. The two seed hippo <laughs> versus the 31 harpy eagle. Like, yeah. like, what could a harpy eagle even do to Nothing. a hippo? Scratch it slightly. <laughs> it's yeah. just like a, it's just a big mass of bar, body armored viciousness. Yep. Like, exactly right. Kidding me? <laughs> This uh, one, however, this is a good one, and this is a real interaction. By Great the way, matchup. In, in, this 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 happens. This happens. Jaguars and black bears really? cross habitat in Arizona all the way through Central America. This this happens. Well, okay. Not all the way, but what are you going to go with, Forrest? I'm going to go jaguar. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's uh oh, uh oh. Uh-oh, here comes a mid-podcast nude, nudity. <laughs> Roads, the boys hey, here. Uh, hi, I miss you too. Can you bugger off? Guys, yeah, he's you. getting a big boy oh, there. I know. You miss me so much. It's the family. Sorry, everybody, everybody's oh, been missing me, me a lot, so I've been smothered lately. Um, <laughs> hey, go home. I'll come home and have dinner with you soon. No water? None. Why? Oh. What? Forrest finds out that he Everybody. has no water. Always something. <laughs> Always something at our house. All right. You bye, almost, guys. It's almost Sorry like it would have been better if that sea snake venom got in your eye than dealing with this water situation. <laughs> everything. <laughs> it's everything always around here. All right. Um, all right what's next? Uh, Jaguar wins. Jaguar. Gorilla, Death. the seven seed versus Agar. Gorilla. This is a good matchup. Really? Incredible matchup. Good matchup. Yeah. Kyle, it's can you pull up with Agar? Like, Dude, Agar you, can Kyle. flip over close no that's um, guar. <laughs> Kyle, that's guar gum. uh agar can like easily flip over like a large vehicle oh my god oh no, that that this, is a 
beast. By the way, look at that one. Look at the yoked one over there. Look at that. I don't want animals to have to fight, but I I do kind of want to see a gorilla (laughs) and a gar go at it. Um, uh, You know what? I'm still going gorilla, dude. They're too smart. They're too smart. Sorry, say that again, Pat. I didn't hear it. What'd you say? Gorilla. I'm I'm doing. I'm going gorilla. I don't know how it's going to do it, but it's going to do it. He comes in. He grabs the horns. The gar's just all horns. The gorilla basically just rips his skull in half, right? Like what else happens in that? But but can he can he sustain? It's so strong. Peter, what's your vote? It's really tough. It's really tough. I'm legit. Like you know, I don't. I don't. I'm still looking at the picture of the fucking guar, not the band. (laughs) And uh, dude, I'm going. I'm going gawar. Gawar. One for gar. One for gorilla. Ah, it's all down to me. I hate this pressure. Um, it's got to be gorilla. It's got to be. Oh wow, yeah. the gorilla. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the gorilla. Yeah, I just, just think that when it comes to an actual fight, there's so little that you can do against a gorilla. I'm glad the gorilla advanced. Really? Because it's gonna take on the winner of the American Bison versus the Chimp. Wow, that's tough. This is basically the same lineup. Yeah, it's yeah. essentially the same. It, just match. a couple of animals that are both equivalently smaller. <laughs> right, but I. In saying that, this is one where I'm going to give it on my end to the bison. Really? Right. Yeah. There's a too. bigger wow. I was definitely giving strength it discrepancy between those two than the, the last. Chi- the the chip. The the chimp has like what 10x the uh, strength of yeah, its, but so but so does the human. gorilla. But of yeah. the of a human, but the gorilla is exponentially more than that. Right. I don't agree. And, and the bison's okay. bigger than what the guar. So uh, yeah, I'm going. I'm, I got to go bison. All righty. Now we got that's a fight right there. 7 10. Yeah. Round three in the Sweet 16. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Round of 32. The three seed saltwater croc versus the 30 seed a pit bull. Yeah, I mean, cro- obviously. Crocodile. Just crocodile. Just crocodile. Yeah, crocodile. Just stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> Komodo Ooh, dragon an interesting is one taking here. on a moose. Moose are no- Mooses are known to be Pronounced aggressive. Meese. Um, <laughs> not. meese uh, are known to be aggressive. <laughs> Uh, Komodo, Komodo, for me. You go with the Komodo. One, yep. It's I'm going to take moose. out a leg. I'm going it's moose. Take out I'm a going leg. That's the thing. It's, it's the bite to the leg, right? And then the, those, the those yeah, moose. Yeah, but I mean, how close are can like it get? Is the moose is the moose skittish I mean, enough to avoid the bite? They're fighting. What do you mean? I know, but enough? they're, they're in fighting. The octagon, is, is the moose's defense enough to avoid? Because he's all horns. He's all horns. That's he's all what horns. I'm saying. Moose that komodo horns. is so low to the ground; it gets in, if it the, grabs if, the leg. If the moose it, can avoid the komodo's bite and just shank it with the horns, moose, moose, moose. Yes, yeah, the baby. Moose. Yeah, it's the moose. Big win he's got for those the moose. horns. He's hammering that komodo into the ground. So oh, the moose, he's the moose was it. like a he's plus 150 in that Imagine matchup. Imagine a backwards yeah. kick. Oh, All right, Siberian tiger versus giant thighs. panda tiger. It's got to be a tiger. Tiger, Move off, on. off, yeah. off. Burmese python, Ooh. the 11 seed versus the 22 Ooh, water that's buffalo. Interesting. Okay, all right. Real interesting. I'm curious. Kyle, do a quick Google Burmese python versus water buffalo because they cohab. Well, I guess that's for ticks. But no, they berms as well. They, they cohabitate. I mean, that might have happened in the past. Let's give a quick Google to this one. Yeah, Give this a is a game. really hard call because I'm trying to picture this is a how. Tough one. This I mean, water might... buffalo's significantly too large for a Burmese python to naturally go after. But right. all it has to do is get around the neck. A couple wraps around the neck, donezo. That's um, it. Um, like maybe like a bite to the leg, and then it like and puts a... goes down and then onto the little... neck. <laughs> but a single stomp, Kyle says, there's nothing. Uh, a 1,200 pound water buffalo stomps that thing's skull. Yeah, I'm going this water buffalo. Tough. I'm going water, water buffalo. buffalo. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, I was going to go I, python, but I did have to think about it though. Dude, right. that's a, that's the underdog. Twenty two, sweet sixteen, baby. All right, round we're, three. We're this kicking is it off. The last round matchup. before the the final champion comes out. That's incorrect. You go from sixteen to eight. Um, what are you talking uh, about? Bill sixteen. <laughs> Doesn't boil down to two. It goes sixteen divided by two is eight. All right, here we go. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweet sixteen. Let's kick it off. Borean elephant is the one seed here, bro. And uh, I don't know what you're doing here because it's fighting the sixteen seed, the brown bear. I'm going brown bear. I'm going brown bear. I'm going brown bear. I'm going Borean elephant. They're you both. They're me? both like nine feet me? tall, but the dude, a brown bear. There's not much like. I if know. it was an ele- African elephant, 
big bull African elephant, I'd say no problem. He's got it in the bag. Right. Borneo elephant's a pretty small elephant, man. Like Whew. 10 foot tall elephants, not that big. Like yeah, it's not wrong. Huge. It's a brown okay, bear though. on his back. That's the same size as a brown bear standing up. Yep. Brown bear wins it. <laughs> that's a All big right. upset. That's the a big brown bear. bear. Yeah. We'll take on the winner of the big yeah. upset from the last round, the King Cobra yeah. versus a lion. Got to be the lion. It's got to be the lion. Yeah. And that's a fight coming up, by the way. Yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah. For sure. Oh, wow. That's like, that's maybe the, I yeah. would pay a million dollars if I had it to watch. If, polar I, bear. if I had that much, yeah. Polar bear. Sorry. <laughs> polar bear versus sure. American alligator. Yep. Yeah, Unanimous polar bear. polar bear goes to the elite eight. Yep. Going rhino here. Hang on, let me announce the matchups. Yeah, yeah, I gotta gotta read. Oh yeah, we're on audio here. Sorry, go ahead. (laughs) The number five seed is a rhino versus the twelve a leopard. Peter takes rhino. Forrest, what are you doing? Rhino. Yep. Rhino. Okay. Yeah. Rhino wins. It's a tank with legs. Leading to a wonderful matchup in the next round. Holy shit! Woo wee! All right. In the sweet sixteen, the two seed hippo takes on the fifteen seed jaguar. Patrick, what do you, what do you, what do you do? Easy for me. The, the, the favorite, the hippo wins that. I think so. Ditto. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Unanimous hippo just cruises to victory. Later, Jag. People can't even watch. It's so bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this, this is, a, this would be fun to watch also. The seven seed gorilla versus the 10 seed, the American bison. Oof, I don't know about this one, man. This one, this one, I am definitely one's... contemplating. This wow. one's a tiebreaker. This one's like a big. Like yeah. this is a buzzer beater happening right yes. here for sure. Yeah, it goes to it goes to multiple overtimes. Has to bison. bison. The coach has a the bison's coach has a heart. Well, let attack. me ask you this. Let me ask you this. In a hypothetical, the bison goes against the gar. Who wins? The gar. It's too muscular. It's too. It's shredded. Yeah, I think the gar, or guar, as yeah. I call it. The bison's bigger. It's got that big ass head. It does but yeah. All right, I got it. I'm going gorilla. I'm going gorilla. Fuck it. That's what I'm going with. So we're talking about a bison. You know, they got horns. They're huge and muscular. Huge. I mean, two thousand pound animal. But I the think gorilla, more. dude, is it's something. Um, twenty two hundred pounds for the bison. Eight hundred ish, seven hundred ish for the three three fifty for a gorilla. Three fifty. That's a big. big I gotta go difference. bison. I gotta You're go bison. bison no. All right, dude. Tiebreaker. <laughs> tiebreaker. What did you say? Three, you said it. you said three fifty for the gorilla versus twenty two hundred for a, a large bison. So much male, dude. So much but think strength. about the dexterity and the mental capacity That's of right. a gorilla. You know, you know how a bison has that hump? That's muscle that allows it to swing but, its but, head. But really, if if the head, if the head and the face gets fucked, uh, a, a gorilla grabs that face, dude. Think, think so. about it's that. It's gorilla at the buzzer. No. Yep. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think me, about it. Give I really me the did. 10 second version of how the gorilla kills the bison. He comes in, the bison charges. The bison's got one play, which is put his head down and charge. He's got nothing yep. else. The gorilla can literally grab those horns. He can either roll them the or horns. turn them. He can jump back up over him and get on top of the bison. Oh, so dexterous. It's, it's a neck break that has to happen. And it's so all you're, you're assuming the bison has been taught jujitsu by no, uh, that's no, the gorilla has been taught. Or, sorry, the gorilla. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> by the way, all by all gorillas have been taught. They, they come out knowing jujitsu. Like, by the way, know. if yeah. you're listening or watching this and you want to see a bison fight a gorilla, we will take Retep to Yellowstone and have him <laughs> fight a bison. Fuck <laughs> you! It's by a compliment. Way. You're I mean, very strong. Listen, a cl- like if we got a, a small female bison and dressed you up in a monkey suit, that would pretty much be the same thing. I'm just gonna move on real quick. But I, when <laughs> Forrest, when you said the horns, I totally forgot about the horns of a bison, dude. I've my my Wait, child. Are you changing? Are my babe, my baby. No, I'm not changing. My right. my baby human can can vor- voraciously grab anything in in his thing, and he's ridiculously strong. A gorilla with those bison horns. That's it. I didn't even think about the horns, dude. Steer it's like a fucking head. steering wheel. I mean, you'll <laughs> yeah, turn that him. head like yeah. a clock, dude. That's all right, baby. That's what I'm We're saying. moving we on to the elite eight. Okay, here we go. Down to eight. Let's start. Let's go back to the top, Kyle. Here we go. Kyle. Oh, Kyle had a stroke. Kyle had a stroke. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, we missed one. Oh, what? We missed. 
We missed two. All right, come on. Saltwater okay. croc. Okay. Verse. It's croc. It's croc. Saltwater croc. croc for some moose. Easy croc. for me, croc. 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 Yeah. And the, the Siberian tiger versus a water buffalo. Right. That happens all the time. It's tiger. tiger. Really? Okay. Yeah. One tiger versus one buffalo. That's that's how the game works. Tigers right. are solitary. Know. Yeah, they... I know. Wait, so you're saying Siberian tigers are solo hunters? No, Correct. I mean Siberian tigers don't interact with water buffalo, but oh, but a tiger. Bengal tigers interact, kill and eat water buffalo all the time, and just they're just like smaller one on version. One on one. One on one. Okay. All it's right. Fair, fair. I learned yep. something today. Yep. All right, on to the Elite Eight. I fucked up. Semifinals. Here we go. Okay, this is an incredible matchup. Let us know what you really think, is. Brosners, in the comments whether we pick this one right. The 16-seed brown bear or the 9-seed a lion? I'm going last. It's very easy for me, so go, Retep. It's tough for me. This is tough for me. Um, all right, so I'm basically deciding vote, and I don't know nearly as much about these animals as you do. All I know <laughs> is their physical size, but a lion is literally the fucking king of the jungle versus a brown bear, which is a gigantic they don't animal. They jungles, but... What? Shut up. They don't... Lions don't... It's okay. He's right. They, they, they have the moniker king of the jungle. It's okay. Anyways, so... Uh, <laughs> it's so derailed. <laughs> the animal that I'm picking... I'm going brown bear. That's it. All right, Fuck there it. it is. Go for us. Brown bear. Brown bear. Brown bear. Easy. Unanimous. unanimous. Damn, I thought Definitely. one of you guys was definitely picking lion. I had Pulling to think about upset. it, but it's just like, oh, man, brown bears are just, they're so insane. They're big, big They're paws. so much bigger. They're, they're, nah, there's no way a lion's killing a bear. Ooh. All right. Here's a four or five matchup. They made it all the way. The polar bear versus the rhino. So in my head, just as the layman, no matter what, like polar bear is literally the alpha. Like it kills everything. It doesn't matter what it is. It kills an elephant. It kills everything. But but let me ask you this. If yeah. you hit a polar bear at 40 miles an hour with your car, who wins? <laughs> I'm My serious. car with a fucking horn. Yeah. I mean, no, you're right. You're right. It's fleshy versus like a rhino that has legit armor yeah. and a fucking horn with a point on it. This is tough. This is not easy. What's I'm your assuming, pick? You got to make your pick. I'm going Peter. rhino on this. You going rhino? I, I don't think there's a lot that can take down a full-grown white rhino. Just that horn, the armor. No. Yeah. I mean, Pat, could, what do you got? It's it's rhino. I mean, over seven thousand pounds. It's got a horn. Yeah. There's no way a nine hundred pound polar bear can take take a rhino out. There's just no way. I don't see it. Okay. That's that's this. That I'm might going, be controversial. People might be I'm mad. Going it's going to be, gonna be controversial. That one's going to be controversial. Because uh, polar bears, polar I mean, bear. they'll oh, they'll open said car like a can of tuna fish. That's so, sure. Claws. Yeah. Oh. yeah. That's All controversial. Right. I'm okay with it. All right. Who else will move on to the final four? Will it be the two seed, the hippo, or the seven seed, gorilla? Easy this for me. This is another tough one. Well, I mean, I got to go. I got to go hippo. It's that body armor that does it for me. It's just so... The yeah. mass, the jaws, it just, it's got to be the, hippo. the the shit flinging out of the ass to mark territory. <laughs> yeah, it's hippo. I'm saying I'm saying the gorilla barely made it into this round. I, it had kind of an easy <laughs> path, right? It doesn't mean yeah. it was. How did it get the jaguar? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, totally. Harpy eagle for jaguar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so easy. Yeah. So All right, and easy. the hippo will take on the winner of this final elite eight matchup: the three seed saltwater croc versus the six seed. Siberian tiger. That's a tough one for me. Actually. That's a brutal is, one. That's a that's brutal. really hard. This Let's might, make Forrest go first here. Yeah, but this is sure. literally, I think, the toughest one of the entire competition. It's really, honestly. it's 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 interesting to picture how they would do battle. It's Salt just like croc. look, you've got this tiger, right? He's going for the croc. He's swiping at it with his claws, which is definitely doing damage to that thick crocodilian skin, but it's not doing detrimental damage and and this you're talking about literally a a an, an evolved 200 million year old thing that is just meant to kill and, and look silly. crocodiles will go for in africa a nile crocodile will go for a lion it'll go for a leopard it'll go for a big cat. they don't care they don't care one clamp down of those jaws and a death roll i don't care who you are like i don't and care they're in an octagon here so i mean it's just got to get one tough. good hold and a death roll and that thing's toast so who is it? It's salty Saltwater and Siberian. Siberian. 
It's how, tough. You know, I'm going to go croc. I, it's, it's a close one, Oof. but I'm going to go croc. croc. I think, I think the tiger can croc? do it though. Yep. All right. It's croc. croc. Jeez. That's, Boys. that's wild. Huge shout out to Bro and Roberts for making this bracket, FYI. But we're on to the final four, baby. All yeah. right, final Only four, baby. Four, two matchups left before we have our finals. Let's do it. Let's do it. What do we got? What do we got, Kyle? What do we got? I'm nervous. It's pretty Here intense, to be honest. It's like, really, I'm, I'm nervous. Thinking about my choices and like, I'm like, did I make the right <laughs> choices? Yeah. All right. Dude, that last one really like I was like, I don't know because you're talking about a cage match. The crocodile, if you just right, you hold its snout down. If you got a paw on it, it doesn't have any strength to open it, right? Like one you know, one proper bite from that tiger on the spinal column, he's done. But that was yeah. a tough one. It's tough. Anyway, let's move All on. Right. We kind of got it. Yeah. In the final four, the brown bear will take on the favorite, the five seed. The rhino. Can I go first here? You can. Okay. So the, you know, brown bear, let's say max weight, 1300 pounds, rhino over 7,000. Yeah. Rhino's is a bigger right? animal. 7,000 pounds? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yep. It can get up to over 7,000 that, pounds. That's literally like an SUV. That's fucking yeah, ridiculous. That's a lot. <laughs> so according to Wikipedia, only up to 5,300. Okay. Uh, but according to PBS, which I find to be, a better source says Certainly. up to 7,900 for a rhino. <laughs> a lot of pounds. I am going so to big. make the pick. I am going to take a brown bear. Wow. I believe that they're just, right. they're nimble. The fact that yeah. in their nature, they have to, they fight each other. They tear shit apart for a living where the All rhino right. doesn't. Well, let's, let's actually discuss this for a moment, Forrest. Wait, sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. What? Well, well, let's discuss it. But I'm going to tell you, it's going to come down to you <laughs> because I'm going, I'm going okay. for the rhino. I just don't, I just like, there's just something so, about him. So, but let's discuss yeah. it. Let's break it down. So, I, so I'm, I'm talking an yeah, Alaskan yeah, yeah. brown bear, like the right. big motherfuckers. So, so let, me, let, let me just say my thoughts and then I want to hear the wildlife biologist Please. give his thoughts. So, Please. I mean, the rhino, the thing that I think about is just, fucking body armor right like so because i'm thinking like a brown bear it, it even taps me with its claws dude it's ripping my entire fucking insides yeah open. you're done like, yep. but a rhino like it could probably take i don't know maybe maybe even five six straight up like claws from bear without yep. just like spilling its insides it, out it'll bleed don't get don't don't be fooled but it's not going to be what it does to a soft fleshy non-armored mammal think about this rhinos will spar with each other and fight with each other so those two giant what do we say five thousand pound animals seven thousand yeah. pound animals are running at each other at 30 miles an hour to fight right. with each other yeah so like you know, it takes a lot to do a damage to a rhino. At the same time, one little bullet kills them, you know? So, you know, on, on that note, I, I'm going to say this, and here's my pick. Because face-to-face, -face, you go rhino versus fucking brown bear. You're talking a vicious fucking animal, one of these animals, fangs, fucking just like, Four inch long claws. Claws. Easy. Gets if it right it through that little took, skin. If it took its fucking mouth <laughs> on the fucking head of the other one, the yep. rhino, I'm going brown bear. Wow. Right, brown bear advances I, to the finals. I saw a rhino going to the finals the whole time from early in the day. All right. Yeah. Very Listen. good. That's you fine. I didn't yeah. realize they were 7,000 pounds, but. That's fine. All right. Here we go. Yep. This is a big matchup actually can happen in the real world. The two seed, the hippo versus the three seed, the saltwater croc. This is another fantastic one. I, I have no Forrest idea. Forrest has to go last because I don't want to be influenced here. That's fine. Because he's probably seen this happen in real well, life. Well, keep in mind, hippos and saltwater crocs don't, don't ah, cross paths. Okay. And saltwaters right. are crocs. bigger and gnarlier than Nile crocodiles. So, you know, that's all I'm going to say about that. And then I'll go okay. last. I know my pick. I'm going saltwater croc. That's Dude, this is so Stronger hard. bite force than the hippo. It's low to the ground. The hippo's not going to be able to... I just, it could trample it. It could trample it with its giant body weight. <laughs> just trying to give us some visuals here. I'm going like, saltwater this is, croc. This is crazy. Saltwater croc for Papa P. P. 
Peter? Oh, God. I just, these fucking hippos. Well, no, let's go for us next in case he splits it. Okay. Uh, well, I am going to split it. I just, <laughs> okay. uh, we're, we're in the octagon. You got this massive hippo. Yes, it's got the crushing jaws. It's got the big tusks, but it's just the stomping ability. Okay. You know, it's just that trampling that hippos do yeah. all over yeah. it. The weight, the crushing of the head and the bones. Uh, I'm throwing an upset in there. I'm going hippo. You're saying that if a 4,000 pound animal stomps you, it's not good. It's not. It's not. Okay. shockingly. <laughs> yeah. Shockingly. Right. Wow. So it's all down to you. Peter. Tough. This is tough. Um, Look, one of these animals venom in your eyes right now. Yeah. One, <laughs> one of these animals can literally, the crocodile could literally just get a leg and and fucking just destroy it, spin, it, rip yeah. it off, and now the, the hippo's done. The hippo's done. However, as Forrest stated, the hippo could literally just pick up one of four of its legs at any moment and put it right on the fucking head, snout, snout face of the crocodile. I got to go hippo. Hippo wow. advances to the wow. finals. Wow, here we go. Holy shit, right. that's a matchup right there, ladies and gentlemen. We are talking in the finals. You will enjoy this matchup of the 16th seed. In the next episode. An Alaskan <laughs> brown bear. <laughs> we would lose like 4,000 listeners. Hell so no, they'd upset. watch it. Uh, they're like <laughs> I, would, I would stop coming. Here's the finals in the <laughs> yep. March Madness Battle Royale. The 16th seed, the Alaskan brown bear, 1,300 pounds of teeth and claws versus the two seed, a 4,000 pound hippopotamus. Forrest, wow. I think, must go first this time. Wow. This this it's this hard. hurts me. This hurts it, me. I, yeah, I have a hard, hard time with this. This is a good matchup. It's but really at the good. end of the day, when you fight those two animals and they're in the octagon and it's just these two, and it's nothing but throwing blows. Give us our give us the reasoning though, first. Play it out, play by play. I want to hear. You've got a hippo and a brown bear. They're in the octagon. They're head on, right? There's no way. Yep. There's no ducking and diving. There's no dodging here. This is head on combat. You've, the thing, the thing that gives my champion the advantage is the fact that it can stand on its hind legs and rip with those claws. It can sink its teeth, the bear, into the hippo's neck while ripping with those claws. I mean, it's just that hippo, if he gets him against the wall, the bear's fucked. But in the process of getting him there, that bear is going to rip that hippo to shreds. He's going to have blubber coming out all over the place. Yep. He it just has to get to one artery. And while it's not going to be pretty, and I don't think anybody wins in this scenario. No. I'm putting the bear at the, the number one. Pat, the bear don't, wins. don't say it. I'm not going to. Don't I, say I, it I, yet. I have not made my pick yet. Me neither. Has picked Me neither. the bear. Yep. I, it, um. Tough All right, ball. I'll go next. I'll go next and let you uh, be the deciding vote. Or I'll, I'll let you explain after I explain. I'm not going to say who I think wins. Well, I think I just <laughs> I just gathered that you're going to pick the hippo. <laughs> Why? Because he said he was going to be the deciding vote. vote. No, no, no. That's just my drunkenness. Legitimately, I haven't decided yet. Okay, good. Um, so you have you have this animal, the hippo. The armor on the hippo is it is it even rivals that of the rhino so you're talking about it doesn't in my doesn't. in my it view it does okay sure very good very i'm good. just saying you're not talking about a bear attacking a deer you know something that's fleshy you're talking about something that has this girth this almost cal calcified fucking shell on it so peter let me just stop you for one sec just because okay. I, I, I don't want to interrupt. I like your where your headspace is at. But you did. The, the rhino has armor, like actual plated armor, right? Right, right. The hippo has two-inch thick skin, which is fucking insane. Two inches yeah, it's crazy. of skin and a shit ton of blubber. And that that fat, that insulation, is what gives them sort of the ability to wear wither blows. And when you see okay. hippos fighting, like 
they have tusks this long that go into each other and they get beat to shit and they're so fine. what's our so, what's our weight ratio between a hippo and a brown four, bear? Four thousand pounds max for hippo, thirteen hundred pounds for a brown bear. So I mean that alone, you're talking this pure two inches thick skin with a bunch of blubber under it. That's fine. You can That's take fine. many, many fucking claw shanks you from can. a yeah, bear. You can. Very nice. And you have a very large fat neck like Ed from 90 Day Fiance. You <laughs> can't wear guy. necklaces. You love that guy. <laughs> and it's so there's no, I feel like there's no one strike point where a brown no. bear could no. come in and take him out in one blow, right? No. And I, no and, chance. I, and I do think that once attacked, once the hippo knows it's under threat, Forrest, you've said on this podcast, that they are the most nervous fucking animals 100%, 100%. in the world. No You're argument. backing this hippo into a corner. Straight up. It gets a strike from this bear who's not nearly as nervous. He's a predator, this hippo. Yeah, he's confident. And he's he used fuck, to them running away. That's right. And this bear comes in. He swipes it. Maybe tries to growl at it. That hippo comes in fucking destroys him i'm saying hippo i'm going hippo i liked your logic there you drunken is much smarter than you not drunken cheers um, mates yeah good logic all right Bur- papa p uh, brown bear wow okay <laughs> wow you really know how to <laughs> how to de-escalate the climax yeah no, look, look I, I think peter you know it's got twice the bite force the hippo does. The, the hippo is twice the bite force of a brown bear i get it it's much bigger but I just go back to forest logic and I just, I'm just picturing it. I just don't, I just don't think the hippo. He's just uh, kind of shredding it, right? Like yeah, I just, just see it getting it shredded. It's, it's hard to like, watch. It's hard to watch. This yeah. is great. Peter, I don't think you picked poorly, by the way. And your logic was flawless. Like Thank I you. think it's anyone's game just in my Agreed. opinion. But right. I, there's no way of knowing. Cause unfortunately we'll probably, well, there is. we can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> unless AI, unless somebody figures out the AI thing, like yeah. Peter said, but <laughs> the brown bear is the champion. Very good. Of the 2023 wow. March. By Madness. the way, brown bear versus hippo hippo coming in second. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This is uh, crazy. This is uh, look, good. I think this was fun. Thank we you, bro. We have, maybe we'll do it again next year. Maybe not, but thank you, bro and Roberts. Well, let us yeah. know. Did you like it? Was it too long winded? No, I know I got it. yelled they at. Liked it. They liked it. They liked <laughs> it. I listened. I drove home from Vegas late last night and listened to three hours of just guys talking about the Yankees' first game. How did and you not really listen to me. your own podcast, you piece of shit? I already did. He's I listened been there. to it the minute it comes out. He's been yeah, there, right? He's heard it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's nice to be back. Thank you, bro. Fantastic. Missed you. We've got many more stories from South Africa and Australia coming up. All kinds of fun stuff. Forrest uh, has literally been abroad for seven weeks. Seven weeks, 45 yep. days or uh, somewhat. You're wrong. He's been abroad his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> He's told one story that wasn't even from being abroad. We have so much shit coming up in the next episodes. And check out the fucking bonus pods where we get nitty gritty. As I say, boner it's pods, the Cinemax. It is a podcast late night. <laughs> yeah. For a week. Show it on YouTube. You're annoyed with us. Still You're annoyed. Still I've seen month. the comments. Listen, people want us to post more. They say, ah, oh, you only do two a month every two weeks. What the fuck? It's not consistent. Listen, we do one every single week. We do. And I hate Pat, but I like Forrest. So it's tough to get together every week so with this <laughs> yellow light. Uh, I'm going to get it fixed. I'm going to get it fixed. Can you do the thing? Do you want to do the thing? I got to do the thing. Me? Yeah, do the thing. You're the only one who knows. Wildtimes.club. Wildtimes.club forward slash info. You'll find the link to those four additional podcasts every month on the Spotify, which is real spice. You get video and audio on the Spotify and or on the Patreon. And That's you can go there and get four episodes extra every month. And let me tell you, you go to wildtimes.club forward slash info. You can also find all of the links to listen to everything else on the fucking podcast. Good job, Pete. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, I, I think I think you said all the things. I think you did it. <laughs> I think it's awesome. great. Good night. Love everybody. Hate. 
Pat, but I like you, Forrest. I literally people, missed you. People don't like when you say that. We focus group. That's did. not true. People, the, the <laughs> focus group didn't like it. That's why I was in Vegas. I was doing a you wild time group? focus you, group. You focus group? Okay. Outside yeah. of recording the podcast, I gave out free coupons for a buffet at the Bellagio. Listen, I, I think there I'm he played twelve episodes <laughs> of the Wild Time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They were like, ah, kill you me. know what, Forrest? I should dig up. I'm going to dig up the uh, the focus group from the original Extinct or Alive pilot that they did. In did you Vegas. actually watch it? You got to actually watch no, it? No, no, it was an audio recording. I listened oh, to it. Oh, interesting. I oh have it. We should, we should go through it on one of the uh, bonus pods. Oh, we should. Dude, absolutely. Yes. That would be yeah, so it was funny. like 25 people in Vegas who wanted a free buffet. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's what they the, actually did. That's how they got people to do it. I don't know that for a fact, but that's usually what they do. Is that's like hilarious. If I you want to watch the show and give us an hour of your feedback. You can get a free buffet coupon. <laughs> Please make it happen. By the way, though, I'm not even kidding, Forrest. I'm sure you have tons of fucking extra footage. Everything yeah. we'll put on the Patreon yep, on the bonus on it. podcast. Working on it. Yep. And uh, check it out. We love you. Love you guys. Good night. I love everybody. Oh, by the way, I lost 10 pounds. Congrats, dude. Yeah. The, uh, the Stairmaster, what'd you get, elliptical? I got the fat bit. I told you months ago. That's right, fat bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, no we problems here. No problems oh, here. We I love you it. guys. Bada bing, bada boom. I don't have a tagline yet. But... You did. You made one up. I just don't what remember was what it? it was. I don't it know. It was like, cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it Yeehaw? Yeehaw! Oh, God. I'm Xing out. We're awful. I hate us. So oh, much. Bye bye. This Good was night. an hour 37. It's so long. Good People Lord. love it. They want the longer pop. Good night. Good night. Boo! <laughs>